Panthers, thank you for tuning in today. I'm Chloe Olson. And I'm Riley Watson. Welcome to Panther TV. Let's check in with our History Today crew. Panthers, welcome to History Today. I'm Caleb Bridgens. And I'm JP. Let's see what's going on on March 5th in history. On this day in 1970, the incident on King Street, or more famously known as the Boston Massacre, took place. Well, that's a big deal. Because uh, Yeah, I know. Because during the event, British soldiers killed five men in the crowd who were throwing pretty harmless objects, such as snowballs and sticks, and the African-American Christmas addicts was the first to die, and he became a martyr to others. Joseph Stalin, the brutal Russian, Russian dictator who killed millions, finally got what he deserved on this day in 1953 when he died. He was 74 and was killed from a brain hemorrhage. That's all from JP and I. Thanks, Chloe and Riley, for having us. Back to you guys. Yeah. Pete Buttigieg has pulled the race to be the Democratic Party's U.S. presidential campaign nominee after a poor showing in the South Carolina primary over the weekend. The former mayor of South Bend, Indiana, had never held a non-state office, but his charismatic campaign style and centrist message helped him upset the odds to claim the Iowa caucus last month. However, he failed to maintain momentum in Nevada, and his performance in the first Southern contest sealed his fate. Speaking to supporters in South Bend on Sunday night, he called together he called for the party to work together against Donald Trump. Bill's departure and that of billionaire Tom Steyer on Saturday cleared the way for the predicted showdown that happened between Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden on the Super Tuesday after the former vice president established his standing with the landslide victory in the South Carolina contest. Joe Biden scored the win of his overwhelming amount of votes. Of votes. SpaceX is planning on sending their 20th resupply mission to the International Space Station tomorrow. The NASA-contracted Dragon spacecraft will be filled with supplies and payloads, including critical materials to directly support dozens of the more than 250 science and research investigations that will take place during Expedition 62 and 63. The Dragon will also bring the European Space Agency's Bartholomew, a new commercial research platform, on its journey. The Dragon will enter the station's orbit 10 minutes after launch and begin its choreographed series of thruster firings to slowly approach it. The shuttle will arrive on March 9th and be attached to the Har Harmony module. The 2020 MHS and FSMS Night of Percussion will be this evening, March 5th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. There will be solo performances in the foyer starting at 6.30 for everyone's enjoyment. Invite your friends and family for an evening of drumming with special guest Mike D'Angelo on drum set. Junior Senior Prom is Saturday, April 18th at River Ranch Stockyards in Fort Worth from 8 to 12. The, kit, the tickets are now on sale for $65 per person through April 3rd and will go up to $75 apiece April 6th through 10th. Please purchase tickets in Mrs. Allman's room number 723 or Mrs. Walker's room 712 before school, after school, and during advisory. Checks and cash only. If you have any questions, please contact Mrs. Almond or Mrs. Walker. Interested in trying out to be a cheerleader or mascot? There will be a mandatory student and parent informational meeting for all those interested in trying out today, March 5th at 6.30 in the MHS cafeteria. All hopefuls need to attend with the parent slash guardian. Let's check in with the sun to hear about spring break. Hi, I'm the sun. My real name is Karen. Oh, hey, it's Jupiter. Her real name's Tyrone. I only see her once in a rotation. <laughs> the sun only provides quality content for your viewing in this solar system. The Adrama Galaxy. <laughs> this has been Adrama to Media. Brought to you by the sun. I keep it hot.
Oh, also spring break. Wow. I'm now to cash with the sports. Thanks, guys. The MHS varsity soccer team earned a hard-fought win, nil victory over Dawson Friday night at the Rosslyn uh, Athletic Complex. Marion Griffin grabbed the game winning least less than a minute into the match for a Kellen Neiser assist. The girls are 9-0 in district, 15-1-2 overall. The MHS boys varsity soccer team fell 1-4 in Joshua Friday night the Russell uh, Athletic Complex for the first district loss. The Panthers created a number of scoring chances and hit the crossbar twice before Justin Barnett earned the goal. From, from a Juan Martinez assist, the Pantherest are 4-1 and 4 in district, 7-5 and 7 overall. The boys powerlifting team traveled to Longview last night and completed the regional powerlifting meet. The team placed second in region, the best in at least 10 years in this school history. The medal list includes Colton Sesson fifth place in the 148 weight class, JT Calvert in fourth place in the 220 weight class, Jimmy Barlimo in the first 132 weight class in state qualification, Jordan McKenzie in the first place in the 165 weight class and state qualification, Marshall Hodges in first place in the 275 weight class state qualification, and the meet and the state meet will be in Abilene on March 28th. Back to Colin Riley at the news desk. Thanks, Col Cash. <laughs> Remember, if you're unable to attend the sports event, you can turn it, tune into it on Panther Radio, sometimes featuring some of our own members. And thank you for tuning into this week's Panther TV. Be sure to follow us on our Twitter, at Midlow Media, for up-to-date news and clips. Before we go, let's see what's up with Cole's crew. I don't know what we're doing, man. It is hey, guys. Today we're interviewing people in the hallway about certain things. Right, Fletcher? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, who looks better, Fletcher or Cole? I'm going to go with Fletcher. <laughs> who looks better, Cole or Antonio? <laughs> hmm. Antonio. Ooh. We're here with M M MBA, MVP, Michael Jordan. MBA? And NBA. We're here with the National Basketball Association's most valuable player, multiple time winner, Michael Jordan. Mr. Jordan, who do you think looks better, Fletcher or Antonio? Or Cole? Cole, 100%. All right, Caleb, who looks better, Cole or Fletcher? We're going to have to go with Cole. 